Yes, uh, another very interesting concept in your latest bestseller, Triggers, was about uh, the wheel of change. Hmm. So, could you tell us a little about that? Well, the wheel of change I'm here in India is a concept that uh, partly came from Hindu philosophy and partly with my friend DJ Govindarajan. He and I worked together to help develop this. He applies it in a very different way than I do. His work is strategy or the macro level. Mine is individual leadership behavior at the micro level. So at the wheel of change is something you can use in analyzing any situation from individually planning your life to a team to a company. So the wheel of change, imagine two dimensions. One is negative to positive, the other is keep to change. So we can talk about four dimensions. The first dimension is called creating. And if you look at it from life planning, who's the new me I want to create? Who is this new person I want to become? And if you want to become something different, you can't just repeat the same thing you've been over and over again. That's my book, What Got You Here Won't Get You There. Right. Yeah. What do I have to do that's different? You've mentioned the importance of creation in terms of improving those skills. What am I going to need to do different to face a new future? Who is the new me I want to become? The second element model is positive keep. It's called preserving. What is it about my past that I want to preserve or keep? Could be relationships, could be people you love, could be your health, could be your values. So it's important not to become so focused on creating that we forget about keeping the important parts of our past. And in business, very important, what do I want to preserve? Uh, one of the great leaders I worked with, a woman named Frances Hesselbein, had a great model. She changed the Girl Scouts of America and her model was tradition of the future. And she focused on the future, creating. She also focused on preservation of the values of the past, though, preserving. Then the third element of our model is eliminating. What do you need to get rid of? And that's very important as well, because if you just focus on creating and preserving, but don't eliminate, we become constantly overcommitted. And that is one of the biggest problems of leaders today, is just chronic overcommitment. So our first three parts of our model are creating, and then preserving, and eliminating. Well, if you look at Hindu philosophies, that sounds familiar. This is basically Brahma, uh, uh, Shiva, and then it's uh, Vishnu. So this is basically the you know, three basic manifestations. The fourth I've added is kind of like Buddha. Mm -hmm. And this is called accepting, negative keep. And you think, why would I keep something negative? Well, accepting is facing the fact you're not going to change everything. There are things in life you may not love, but you're not going to do anything about. Right. and learning to make peace. The great Peter Drucker taught me so many wonderful lessons, but one of the great is this. He said, our mission in life is to make a positive difference, not to prove how smart we are, not to prove how right we are. Then he said, every decision in life is made by the person who has the power to make the decision. Uh, not the smartest person or the best person, it's made by that person. Make peace with that. And if I need to influence you, you have the power to make the decision. One word to describe you, customer. One word to describe me, salesperson. Sell what you can sell and change what you can. Change what you can, make peace with what you can't change. And that model is so practical and useful. And people in life can save so much time and turmoil just focusing on what good can I do and not focusing on things I cannot change. You know, hours and hours and hours wasted on what I can't change and really focus on what I can change. So that wheel of change model you can use at the individual level, planning your own life. At the coaching level, you can use it at the team building level or even at the organization level.